Hello, good day. I promised to share to you how you are going to write your mojo. Here is the simple way of making a mojo for your instruction, making use of your contextualized instructions. Contextualized instructional materials. This will be the parts of the module. You have the introduction. I have placed there panimula, pataratara. And before that, you are going to write the module number in whatever subject you are going to make and the grade and the year level. You have also the icon above for you to use, but if you can design your own, the better. For the for part one, introduction, this identifies the modular activity sheet. It may include a brief rationale or introduction on what learners will learn. You have to keep it short, about one to three sentences. You use the second person conversational style so that you are speaking directly to the learner. Use short sentences with appropriate terminology. Here are the suggested icons where you can place at the top of the page, if it is an odd page or an even page. Part two will be the intended learning outcomes. You can also label it objectives. In Filipino, mga layuni. In Bicol, you could have mga katuyuhan. These must be taken from the most essential learning competencies. Therefore, before you are going to write your module, you know already the intended learning outcome or the objective so that you could already choose it from the most essential competencies. Here are the suggested icons. Part three will be the definition of terms or talahulugan. This lists and defines all the keywords and short phrases that appear in the module. The purpose of identifying and providing simple definition of these terms is to help the learners use them appropriately in contexts. Meaning, you can also define the word operationally, if in case you could not find a definition as listed from the dictionary. Then you have your pretest or panimulang pagsubo. This evaluates the learner's knowledge and skills prior to starting the module. This provides not more than five items. Here are the suggested icons to place on top of the pages. Part five is your learning activities or engagement activities or mga gawain sa pagkatuto. This gives the learner the step-by-step -step instructions for working through the module and using supplemental resources. This part gives instruction to the learner to refer to a supplemental material like a textbook, a video link to an online material, a news article, a manual, etc. if it is available. If not, the teacher will provide input or explanation of a concept, which must be done in the simplest way, providing enough examples. Meaning, the part of the module called learning activities. This will be the part where the child is expected to learn the step-by-step -step instruction in order to achieve the objective. After that, 
you should have the skill practice or the practice drills and exercises. Sometimes we call this enrichment activities. You have had already practice of the learning in part five. However, to assure that the child will learn and gain mastery, there is a need for you to prepare skills practice. In Filipino, you can say pagsasanay bilang isa, bilang dalawa, or tatlo. You could also indicate their practice drills and exercises part one, part two, part three, or skill practice one, skill practice two, skill practice three. Note, why do we have to number it one to three? We need to provide activities logically from the simple to the complex exercise. Therefore, one will be simple, two will be average, three will be complex. So that the child will be helped in the step-by-step -step process which you introduced in part five. Bicol Pagbansay. Okay, yeah, there. Then you have number seven part. You have the pangwakas na pagsubo. You call this the post-test. This measures the learner's knowledge after completing the module. This provides five to ten items for paper and pencil test. If it is a performance test, provide a rubric. The rubric must be clear on how the child is to be graded. Okay, that's the icon which you can use. Then eight, part eight will be reinforcement activities or karagdagang gawain. This provides activities designed to correspond to specific objectives and that reinforce the information provided. Assignments often require higher level skills such as diagnosis and problem solving. They provide an opportunity for skill practice without risking the learner's health or safety. Examples of assignments are drawing or painting, writing an essay, taking photographs, video, using a mobile, de mobile device, additional exercises, and others. The giving of assignment is optional. However, this reinforcement activities is to assure that the child was really engaged and the child will really feel the need of the lesson and she will engage in the activities called reinforcement activities. These activities will help the child love what was learned in the previous lesson. Part 9 will be key to correction, or you call it susi sa pagwasto. Modular instruction is self-paced learning. Self-checking correction shall be done by the learner until mastery is attained or gained. It provides the key to correction for all assignments and other activities in a material. This must be included in the module. And the teacher must have an opportunity to check and give feedback to the learners. We trust the child that in the modular instruction, they really would like to learn by themselves. That is why upon discovery that they have failed to give the correct answer at the end, then the child can get back to where the topic And that topic that seems to be not yet mastered. Now consider these notes. The activities in the module may be taken from the daily lesson plans. Additional activities and materials may be provided. And the design of the module attempts to be adaptive to different learning modalities 
like online, face-to-face, -face, blended learning. The writer is given the freedom to choose or provide activities, whatever is suitable, available, and accessible. The approximation of completion time for its module will depend on the grade level. You have there key stage one, that is 20 to 30 minutes per module. Then you have key stage two, that is 30 to 60 minutes per module. Then key stage three to four, you have 60 to 80 minutes per module. Meaning, you can also adjust if in case you know that the child is still in stage one, two, or three. Now it is also a must to place about the author. You are going to write it in a paragraph form of not more than 55 words with your picture. You write only the most essential fact about you as a writer. Okay? Thank you very much.